welcome to or back to my channel so today i'm back with a super exciting video as you can tell from the title and thumbnail of this video i'm going to be unboxing the new iphone 13. i am so excited for this i think this is the first apple unboxing video i've done if you just clicked on this video hi my name is emily i make a variety of fashion vlog content so definitely check out my channel and Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26. Thumbs up if you'd like to see more Apple unboxing videos. Also, comment what phone you currently have, like what model of phone. And let's just go ahead and get into the unboxing. Just got this mail. I put a piece of paper over my address, so I have to like censor it out. This is just a box that came from T-Mobile. My current phone is an iPhone 11. I didn't get the Pro. I definitely should have gotten the Pro. I always kind of regretted just getting the regular iPhone and not the Pro. It's very full on storage. Currently have a 256 gig phone. I did upgrade the storage last time. Definitely worth the upgrade because I even filled that up. So I'm always filling up my storage super quickly. Like the battery does die really fast. I just thought it was time for an upgrade. There it is, I'm so excited. It's like all new and fresh and clean and unopened. I got the iPhone 13 Pro in silver with 512 gigs. I upgraded the storage and I also upgraded the model to the Pro. I got the silver because I love like the clean look. I feel like the silver is basically like white so it just has a really clean, sleek look. This is the packaging. I feel like it just looks really sleek and really nice. There's the little, the little tabs if you guys can see that. Let's just go ahead and unbox it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna pull up the tabs. I'm gonna flip it over. So loud I like literally dropped it that was not satisfying here it is I'm so scared I'm gonna like drop it before I even do anything with it so stunning I'll do a little close-up and the sides are totally different from the side of my phone now so I think they upgraded this with the iPhone 12 but the sides are like mirrored and I feel like they're much thicker than the side of my phone currently I don't know if it feels heavier but Something about it feels different than my current phone. Also, I feel like I'm getting tons of fingerprints on the side of it, like the mirrored side. The camera is like crazy. It just like sticks out like a ton. Like it's like not even, I don't even know how to compare it to the one now. So I guess that now I'll peel off the little paper thing. That's satisfying. It's so sleek. I can't get over how big the cameras are. Like they're insane. I feel like it's gonna take some really good pictures. So I'm really excited to try out the cameras. I didn't even look to see what's in the box. So there's a charging cord. What's in here? Oh, this is the little, the little SIM card tool. Don't wanna lose that. I forgot that they don't come with the box anymore. I guess you have to get the like really powerful boxes now. Luckily I thought ahead and I already ordered it. I ordered my phone online and it suggested for me to add the box. I'll do a little haul of the things I picked up for my phone because I do want to get a case on this now. So I did get the box, the power adapter. It says it's a USB-C. So that was just in my little T-Mobile box. I guess the new ones actually charge your phone a lot faster. I also got some cases because I definitely want to protect my new iPhone. I definitely don't want to drop this or scratch it or break it right when I get it. Thank you so much to Case by for sponsoring this video. I literally love Case by Cases. I literally only use Case by Cases. I have one on my current phone right now. Ever since I've tried Case by, I've never used anything else. I literally love them. My sister, my mom, pretty much all my friends and family only use Case by as well because it is literally the best. If you guys are getting a new iPhone 13, you definitely need a Case by Case. They are more protective than any other cases. They're definitely way cuter and they're super slim. So these are the cases I got. Case Spice new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. Case Spice cases feature Defensify, an antimicrobial coating that helps kill up to 99% of bacteria. It also prevents bacteria from sticking to the case surface. Case Spice impact and ultra impact cases are 100% BPA free, 100% non-toxic, and non-hazardous. So their Cheetech 2.0 technology offers drop protection for up to 9.8 feet for their ultra impact cases. So those are the ones with the little bumpers on the corner. I picked up a couple of those. Their cases are also 5G and wireless charging compatible. As you can see, the cases I picked up are super cute. Case by offers a huge variety of phone case colors and prints to fit your every mood. You can choose from their selection of curated prints or you can also personalize a case with your favorite font or design layout for a truly customized case. I always get so many compliments on my customized cases and I absolutely love them. I haven't dropped this phone yet but I know I'm definitely going to. I literally drop my phone so many times in a day. I know my case by cases are going to protect it so I'm going to do a little drop test here on screen. You can see how the military grade drop protection holds up.
That is a drop test. As you can see, my new iPhone is still fine. If you're getting the new iPhone 13, you should definitely get a case by case to protect it. And with the holidays coming up, case by cases are great gifts for friends and family. My friends and family always love getting case by cases. And I do actually have a discount code. Go to casefy.com slash emilygrace to save 15% off on your new iPhone 13 case. I'm gonna have it linked below at the top of my description. I think you guys would absolutely love them. They are truly the best cases. I'm trying to decide which one I should use. I think I might use this one. It's just clear and it has my name in green. So we're gonna do this one. I think that looks really nice. The back of it is actually raised above like where the cameras go. So I don't have to worry about like scratching those. There's actually one more accessory that I picked up and it is this glass screen protector. This one is from Case Defy. So they actually sent this one to me. So thank you Case Defy. I always get one of these for my new phones. There have been times where I've dropped this, dropped my phone on concrete and it'll land on like a pebble or a rock just right and it scratches the screen. I feel like these are really nice for just like actually scratching your screen or when it drops just right on like a rock or something. I always get these like little glass screen protectors because it'll break the like glass screen protector rather than the actual glass on your phone. Those are the accessories I got. Let's just get into setting up the phone. So I'm gonna turn it on. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's so cute. Hello, hello new iPhone. United States. Quick start, bring your current iPhone or iPad and you have this iPhone to sign it in and set up. So I wanna do it with iCloud, so I'm not sure what to click now. Wi-Fi password. Am I the only person who can't remember my own Wi-Fi password? Like I literally made the Wi-Fi password. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Your iPhone cannot be activated because the activation server cannot be reached. Try connecting your iPhone to a Mac or a PC. Never mind, we're good. Data and privacy, continue. Face ID, let's do face ID. Create a passcode. Apps and data. I'm really nervous I'm gonna mess this up somehow. Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this iPhone. Data? Do you guys say data or data? Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this iPhone. Restore from iCloud backup. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put in my Apple ID. So I'm gonna verify it with this one. Um, allow. Terms and conditions. I'm not gonna read that. I usually actually do read contracts, but I'm not reading the Apple terms and conditions. Okay, so it says it's gonna take a few minutes to set up my Apple ID. To set up my Apple ID. Today at 1 p.m., Emily's iPhone 11. I'm gonna do the backup from today. I backed it up right before doing this because I wanted the most updated backup. Make this your new iPhone. Here's everything set up as you had it on your other phone. Apps and data, settings, appearance. So it has my credit card. Don't remember putting that in there, but okay. Card has been added to wallet. Apple Pay, double click the side button, authenticate with continue. Proof Siri and dictation, not now. Restoring from iCloud. Time remaining, it's estimating. I wouldn't be surprised if it said like 10 days. Can we just take a moment for this phone case? I think it's really cute. Kind of just like frozen at time remaining, estimating. This is three minutes. Three minutes is not bad. I actually never did that iOS 14 update with all the widgets. I never did that. I was too lazy. I felt like it was just too much of a time commitment. So I'll have to actually do that with this new phone. If you guys want me to film a video like a what's on my iPhone or like iOS 14 customization, iPhone 13 type of video, let me know. If you see my screen and it looks ugly, that's why. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's on, iCloud Restore was successful. I have the same background and my reminders are even popping up and then it's telling me that I don't have the SIM card installed. So it looks like everything transferred correctly. Everything looks the same and all my apps are already downloaded. So make sure my contacts are on here. Looks like they are it's downloading my messages still. Oh, let's check my pictures. Let's see how that's doing. Not all of my pictures are transferred. There's only a thousand pictures and I had 61,000 or 60, 60 something thousand. So I think they're just downloading. There's a bunch of clouds. We'll just see how long that takes. I guess I'll go ahead and do the SIM card. I have to take the SIM card out of my old phone and put it into this phone and then it'll be all set to go. So I'm gonna turn off this phone. I should turn this one off too. I have to remove the cases. Have this little tool. It literally just flew. Like it literally just flew. This is so tiny. This is really hard with acrylic nails. Okay, so it's almost like a little tray. I got it. So I'm gonna turn it back on. I think this is like all ready to go now. I just have to wait for everything to kind of finish transferring, like all my pictures. Now we are going to Try out the camera. This is literally what I'm most excited for. Choose style. You can do like a filter. Swipe to choose a photographic style preset 
personalize the look directly in the camera. So as you're taking the picture, you can have like a preset on them. So you can change the tone, the warm, vibrant, warm, cool. That is really cool. So my battery died. I was actually just playing around with the camera and I literally love it. The front camera is literally so HD. I feel like it doesn't need to be that HD. I think I'm gonna try the cinematic mode. Basically, I think it's like portrait mode, but video, it will like shift the focus. See, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And I think that just having a better camera for video, if I wanna record a couple vlog clips on my phone, if I don't wanna carry on my vlog camera or something, will be super helpful. Show some camera comparisons, so you can kinda of see this phone versus my iPhone 11. I'll just show some clips of the camera because I know you guys are probably dying to see the camera. I'm dying to see the camera. I think that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. If you'd like to see some more Apple unboxing videos, definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26. Thank you so much to Case by for sponsoring this video. I literally love Case by Cases, so definitely check them out if you don't have one or if you got the new iPhone. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.